In the Trailer Kingpin video, I showed this picture to illustrate the dump trailer being built, and of course I'm going to build the tractor to complete the rig, especially since there's already a kit on the market which matches very closely. This is of course the reissued version of the original Ertl Transtar 4300. I built this kit years ago, as I'm sure many of us have, and it's still a good kit by today's standards, although it does have one interesting quirk with regard to the instrument panel. Instead of the normal round gauges you'd expect to see in the center of the instrument panel, it's got these two large bumps here, which represent tachographs. A tachograph is basically a time card punch clock for truck applications, and in fact this picture shows a tachograph installation in a Transtar 4300. This one even has dual tachographs, just like the kit. One is installed to the left side of the steering column, and the other one is on the right. So far the kit's looking pretty accurate, so what's the issue? Mainly that this dual tachograph installation is, seems to be quite unusual. I've only come across one photo showing this in all my searching. Every other picture I've seen of a Transtar 4300 dash, whether sourced online, or in this case, a truck I was able to photograph myself, shows two round gauges on the instrument panel. This is an easy modification to make, and starts by placing masking tape on the dash to protect the molded in detail. Drill holes around the instrument cluster. I like to use a 132nd drill and a pin vise for this, and keep the holes close enough so you can easily connect the dots to the hobby knife after to remove the part. Clean up the hole with a file to get the edges nice and square. Measure the inside dimensions of the hole with the vernier caliper. Transfer these measurements to a piece of 40 thou styrene sheet, and cut out a plug to fill the opening in the instrument panel. Glue the completed plug in place, and use a piece of 30 thou quarter round styrene strip to create a finished edge along the bottom corner. Install gauges, and the dash modification is complete. I sourced my gauges from the parts box, the larger one on the left is from an AMT Ford Louisville dash, and the smaller one on the right is taken from one of the Snap Kit Kenworth Aerodyne conventionals. I cut the gauges free from the donor parts, sanded them down paper thin, and then glued them directly to the surface of the instrument panel. This is similar to how diesel locomotive projects were done many years ago, when donor models would give up parts like louvers and grills, which would be sanded down paper thin, and glued on the surface of the model being modified. Another good option for gauges would be decals, either sourced from kits, or from an aftermarket decal set. Here's the look I'm trying to replicate on the finished model, with a fairly basic dash layout, nothing too fancy. And here's the modified kit dash in its current form, with a quick coat of primer. The kit is based on a higher trim level truck, with a full gauge package, so I'll be removing a number of these gauges to bring the model back down to a basic fleet spec. Thanks for watching everybody! I'll keep posting short updates like this, as the Transtar 4300 and dump trailer come together.